Hello. Hey, how are you? Good morning. All right. I have a question for you. How do we rebirth, re rebirth our bodies? Reboot the matrix or divine transcendence of mothership earth? That's a very good question. How to? Do you know that word how to? Or how to do something? That's a manual. How to manual. How do we anchor our bodies and re-energize our bodies at the same time? Ray, we know, means sun, or ray, it means energy. We know that Earth, she has a iron core, and that's magnetic, but we know she also runs on electricity the buildup of energy by her rocking of the waves and the motion you know the water is always moving and the earth the land part of it absorbs this motion so rebirthing has to do with how do we change or transform our energy and how do we ground this energy into our planet, into our mothership? See, when you say mothership, you think about many different things, right? Right. You're a mothership, right? Right. But to make your babies, you had to have a fathership. Correct. Whether they active, inactive, dead or living, the spirit was always there, right? Right. So to rebirth the earth, we have to look at the fact that everything starts out as energy first. And everything has to have a desire or an inspired thought just like you asked that question. That came from a desire to know something, a desire to experience something, right? Right. So how can we give power, which is ray, energy, to our desires and then lock it in, anchor it in, into the planet, mothership? But since you are having this conversation, how do you first bring it into your body ship and understand it in you so then it can make a difference? It can be infused into more people to understand like what we're doing right now. As we take this conversation from a thought, unpredictable because we don't know where it's going to go yet. But we have a desired outcome, right? Right. The desired outcome that we have is for a shift in consciousness. One that works beyond duality. But we're having it first as individuals, right? Right. So as an individual, we still see that there is some level of duality in side of us we have our mothers and our fathers we have our positive and we've got our negative but we also have the space we're in right now which is neutral we ain't done the good stuff yet we ain't even made our coffee yet <laughs> right <laughs> and we ain't doing no bad stuff we've observed the bad stuff already we're observing it right now and that stuff that we're observing, it's catalyzing, it's triggering us to think, to use our capacity, to give understanding, to label, or to dispel the labels that we used on something 
so that it can now be used for something else. Because once you label something and you identify that thing, you lock it, you cut it off from the source, which is infinite, right? Right. You put finite, you put a container in it. If I have the pipe and the pipe is running water, the minute I take a glass, which is a container, and I put the glass onto the pipe and catch a cup, a glass full, it's no longer free water no more. It's water contained, and it's now called a glass of water. It's not the same as the river anymore. It's still H2O and all the other things that it could be, or whatever you might add, some Kool-Aid, some syrup, some coffee beans, or whatever. But how do we change the concentration of the thing? either to strengthen it or to diminish it so that we can fix a situation. How to reboot or rebirth the earth so we can reboot our lives? How can we give birth to a new version of ourselves that is not prone to the dualistic mainframe of flip-flop and flip-flopping? How can we walk upright and still be here on the earth while connected to the higher plane of existence, our divine blueprint? Doesn't it sound like what we were asking? Yes. But we took that seed thought, that initial question, and we expanded it with our focus. We looked at it a couple of different ways. They're all scientific. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it like we made a cup of coffee. Now, when you hear making a cup of coffee, you may have a coffee pot, right? Right. I don't have a coffee pot. In my world, I have a coffee mug. I have a kettle or a pot that I take liquid water that's cool temperature and I bring it to a boil and when the kettle goes, the steam coming out, bee, makes a lot of noise. I know that the water molecules have now been agitated by heat. The sun provides heat. Now, whether you're gonna put that cup of coffee or that cup of water out there and let it sit on the sun, which is the how does he source we have? We know that no matter how long we sit it out there, it, it ain't gonna be coffee because that's not enough heat. Yet it is enough heat for life and for animals and for plants to be energized by rain, energized by the sun, energized by the photonic particles that's being emitted. The CME, the EMPs, we have electromagnetic pulses that's coming through the sun, right? Right. We have photonic particles that's coming through the sun, right? Right. We have plasma that's coming through the sun, right? Right. And mama get pleased with some plasma, just like we got blood in our sinews, in our body. We are getting blood running through our veins like rivers, flowing through veins and arteries. That's plasma, right? Right. We know it only gets red because when it's exposed to the elements outside, it looks red. But when you see plasma in a bag about to be infused in somebody else, a blood transfusion, only at the top you see red and down at the edges you see red, but everything else inside of that bag, don't it look black? Yeah. So here we've got this plasma, plasmid, liquid form. But when it was coming out of the sun, what form was it in? 
why? The same light that's coming through the sun, that same light is in your blood. Don't we have daytime and nighttime? Yes. Light cycles, dark cycles. How does the plant make food? Through daylight, yes. nighttime, it has photosynthesis. Don't the human have to synthesize sunlight just the same way? Yes. Yes. You got to get that mellow tone in <laughs> so you can get some good sleep in. And that's when you come out of the body as liquid, plasmic, gaseous sunlight in all the different stages of matter. That's how you beamed in, because if you agree, you got plasma. You must be beamed through the sun too, right? Right. Yeah. So by understanding how we can use the energy of the sun and in our bodies, whether they're physical or our bodies of light, because at some point you recognize just now that your etheric information beams through the air, beams through the sunlight, beams through the chemical particles of fine or dense matter into your body. Have you seen the science of it? Yeah. Just like we about to make this pot of coffee here. <laughs> and then I got a strainer. I can't put too much strain on it because it's got a mesh, like a net work. And then I got to put a filter because I don't want to put the coffee grains down the drain. But I have a filter that I put in on that mesh. Yeah, sometimes it's not no fancy filter. It might just be some paper towel. But I align the paper towel, the toela, the filter, filter, sediments to put the granules, the grains of coffee, which is very fine anyway. But it's still coffee that came from a coffee bean that grew on the earth, that grew to a tree, that bear fruit, that one day had to be harvested, that had to be put out to dry. And after it got dried for a while, that same grain had to be put through the fire so that it could be roasted. And then after it was roasted, it was granulated into fine particles from the coffee seed bean to the coffee tree 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 to the whole process of refinement it never stopped being coffee mm -hmm. just like sunlight plasma no matter the process you put it through whether or not it's in plant cells or animal cells that is always going to be just for what it is Energy changes not. It transforms into whatever you need to make it work. Just like the container of water. That water was still water, liquid element. I had to boil it up. I had to heat it up. I couldn't heat it up with sunlight to make my tea or my coffee. To make the energy. I had to use fire. I had to use a glass container or a clay container or a metal container to hold it while I added fire to it. You recognize that that right there is showing many different people's handiwork and labor coming together just to make me a cup of coffee. Yeah. I don't know the man that made the pot. Just like you don't know your great, 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 great grandparents <laughs> but you know they exist right because if they didn't exist you wouldn't be here right i'm speaking on a couple of different levels ain't i yeah 
because what is spiritual must be chemical what is chemical must be physics what is physics must be manifested manipulated and they all must obey the universal law air does it water does it because water is the gaseous part of air air is the liquid part of water to get them from one stage to the next they got to dance with heat thermal energy ah, yeah. right right and if it gets hot enough and dried enough it becomes solid to where you still got to deal with the crystallized element of matter which is still genome but you can't leave out the spirit and the conveyance the containment or however it got transferred to be here the transportational elements which is ether etheric take a bite of the apple and you eat it the apple bottom genetics apple bottom genes have them curves in the hourglass, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You got to take it when she's skinny like a tadpole, call a little over. You got to take it when it's skinny like a man pole, that's called a semen. And you got to understand the tabby cat mechanism that makes it in the cat aura, in the cater. You know what I mean? See the allegory, see the play on the word find a category for it but when you find a cat you put your ego in it and you limit the potentiality so we're expanding this how-to manual to take it from chemistry the mistake not a mistake as in an error but the mystic the mystique of the mothership sonship possession fellowship partnership in your skull hearing godship because that's the manual we need right here we want that good good ship <laughs> <laughs> so you like that conversation so far yeah i do join us on part two we're gonna go deeper this week a sure foundation how we build a pyramid of our thoughts how we transfer the elements of our body mind spirit divine sacred alchemy this is ras doctor of divinity and this is our good beautiful minister cajun queen <laughs> I am love. I am love. We are love. We are love. Thank you for watching.